Hammond, but Nature Strip, he's a force of nature today. Can he do it? Chautauqua, he's flying. Yeah. But Kevin Tari hit the front celebrity. But this is a blitz. It's a weak blitz. Have a go, you mug. Back again. Hey there, mugs. <laughs> the Moz, uh, look who I've got next to me. Mate, I've returned. I'm my head out of the... And some other big heads well, disappeared. Yeah, we've, um, we're just sort of subbing in and out. You're the, um, you're the staple, which is good. We've got to keep the well, class and we can sub in the... Um, some of the surprises from week to week. So, am, yeah. I the, well, am I the class or the, the problem that you blokes need to have a week off <laughs> I don't on, know. Uh, on alternating weeks to, to freshen up from me? But, mate, good to have you back. Uh, we had some winners last week, which is always good. We did. Yeah, it was and good weekend. I know you're bringing the heat this week, mate, with Beans Banger. Beans, get in the sea. In the all, sea. The, all the energies, they're yep. up, they're about, they're ready to go. Yeah, last week was a it was a real good real good week. We had the the three hot pots. Yours was not oh, really salute, yours wasn't it? really a hot pot per se. I think it was was it three fifty early it did. markets one two of, fifty. Oh, one of, that was a steal. Um, and it won like a champion again. Mate, even uh, I mean when we we own a smart hindsight's one. Hindsight's great, but both of them opened at two bucks, and there wasn't yeah. really any deduction. So. No. I mean, so. I think I got on it when they came in about $1.50 each, which yeah. is just, hence the uh, the yeah, vibes was, that we give off here. Well, they were sort of like twos, twos, and 350 and all it's three of those bets it? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have it. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> I don't think any of us had but it. But hopefully, anyway. Mark, someone out there, Yep. I, I feel sorry for you if you are listening to us, yeah. but you followed us in with that little easy Brisbane racing triple up, yeah. which was great, and hopefully it gave us some uh, ammunition into the Memsey last was, week, so boom. So because Moz had behemoth, I've decided again. we're going to do a, a bit of a group one leaderboard amongst the mugs, seeing as I'm yep. one zip up on the so other he's two. A, he's a favourite of yours, isn't he? He's you've good. You've been following him in he's good. <laughs> there was well, a, Moz was due for a celebration uh, last year sometime, and he, mm. he unfortunately couldn't attend. But, unfortunately. Um, there, yes. was a, there, was a, there was a bit of a gift on, on behemoth the place that day, which came All-star out. All-star day. Yeah, Take so, me back. Yep. Um, but he just seems to have like the perfect racing style as well, yeah. doesn't he? Caulfield's yeah. his bread and butter, but just yeah, sits, he's, sits, he sits one handy. back. Yeah, he's always oh. handy. He, he has a decent acceleration when he needs to. Yeah. I think the turning tracks are the key, though. Tight turn. Yeah, Caulfield, I don't. Yeah. I don't have the stats on it here. Be interesting to see what his stats are like at Flemington because I don't know if they'd be. As impressive, he'd be a yeah. well. He's or like a sand down, for instance. Well, like something ran, with a really long. Spray. Well, all, all, all summer I was at Mooney Valley, wasn't it last yeah. year? He'd, yeah, he'd, so he he'd be a that. gun, yeah. gun Mooney Valley horse. The full, the uh, the problem is, there's only what the Cox Plate. So yeah. I, I don't think two thousand. Not getting two thousand. No, it's fourteen hundred, maybe Group a mile. Twos and threes there. You could probably yeah. pick off. I mean, you just you just put him there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Valley. What did it cost? Like, was it five hundred bucks or something? It was, it was, it was cheap. It was, it was, Tell you what, the guy, uh, what's his name, escapes me at the moment. But uh, Grand Syndicates, who yeah. they've got, they've got, they've got a few decent horses under their banner. Yeah. So something that the mugs aspire to be. But yeah. hey, we've got one. We've got one from, uh, well, zero winners from one horse. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a second one anymore, thanks to a little trainer's tell you what you want to hear job. Yep. But we're going to get back in the game soon, mate. Yep. So, Mugs, if you're watching, there's a couple of sales coming up. Keep but we'll be getting out. involved. Yep. So, if you're not on the mailing list, jump on to mugspunting.com.au. Subscribe, because we need to get uh, we need to get Queensland Racing up and about, yeah, mate. That's, get them back that's why again. we're here. We need a new champion. <laughs> that's right, and that's why we have the bean back on this yep. week. So... No Group 1s this week, no. but it has been a big week in racing, hasn't it, mate? <laughs> um, look, we've we've been there, done that. We've done some New South Wales trips, some Victorian trips, jumped on Airbnb, tried to line up a cocaine fueled orgy every time we go down. Yeah. Doesn't quite work out like that. Yeah. ends up you and I head down yeah, on the floor, don't even make it to yeah, the beds have, at 8pm. Have, have dominoes and, <laughs> yeah. and uh, it rocks up yeah. to the door and we're well and truly in bed. But, yeah. mate, what a week. Mate, it's just out of control. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it's out of it's out of control. It's like a it's like a season of like you know married at first sight. It's just cha it's chaos to be honest. Yeah. Like, and it's uh, I don't know three months. I mean, it had the potential to shut down racing, so I can understand yeah. why the bands were as big as they were. I think three months and the whole spring carnival maybe is a bit harsh. I'm more concerned about the people's um, families because there's a couple of. Wives, fiancés, children, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Getting around there, that's, which is just like, well, that's you know, just it's, the start just, of it's just the problems that come, yeah, really. It's a disaster, really. And yeah. obviously, you know. And I think, though, like, 
like the, the, big, the big issue is obviously the, the time away financially, but I'm pretty sure that after two weeks they can start track work and riding again. Right, and okay. Yeah, I wasn't so, sure of how so the actual band still gonna, works well, and stuff like that. We're still going to be making money to get by. It's just not yeah. going to be 10 grand a week if you're yeah. Jamie Carr, unfortunately. Yeah. So, But a positive to, opportunity for yeah some new jocks perhaps well, to get, get the rise. We even, saw Brett, Brett even the old jocks, the mate. Because it seems to be that the Oliver, Craig landscape. Williams, there's a few youngsters. I think I heard um, the mention Will Price and a couple of those up and comers, perhaps. I don't know. So, well, realistically, yeah. like. And then Opie may be over the ditch for the yeah, spring, too, so that'd be. Up Mel, I mean, Melon is on his comeback trail, but yeah. Zara and Carr are probably. Well, they have the, the bookings of a so, lot of the major contenders yeah, for the spring. 100%. So it's, it's opened it. Big time. It's huge. Um, I might get it right. You might yeah, get it. Well, that's yeah. it. I, I said during the week, since uh, yeah. I've, I've trimmed up a little bit coming into the spring carnival, mate, just to get the suits fitting a bit better. So yeah. I've got about 40 kilos to go. So I'll be about, <laughs> be about you know, walking around at 58. So, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully be able to get a few rides coming into the spring and a few rides after Woods, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But still a big week, mate. We've yep. got a cracker nine race car at Eagle Farm, as we always do. We do. But the big horse that's going to be in the news this week, well, the two, really. Yep. The Strip's back. Yep. Zaki's back for a bit of a, uh, I think, what did uh, Nick Cyclopedia told us, five group twos and a couple of group threes there at yeah. Randwick it's a huge on Saturday. Set, so it's a huge yeah. card. Yep. I mean, just because it's not group one racing, you're getting the quality horses back, which draws us in, doesn't it? Yeah, I think in a couple of those group twos, there's something like, um, I think the, the Concord and the... Um, what are the other, the, the Zaki race? It's not the channels, but it's yeah, off that. Um, um, what, tramway. The tramway, tramway that's yeah. right. Yeah, so it's, um, I think they said there's something like only one rater under 100 yeah. in those two races, which Huge. is pretty good form. So. Huge. But um, yeah, on the strip, $1.45. Well, <laughs> in against a, I mean, they're not, they're not a pack well, of winners, but like it's kind of just like... Uh, that's the discussion this time around, is yeah. like the last two years, GTR knocked off the strip last year. Yeah. Um, or, well, and it was, was in the market, winner. like, you know, Red Zell the year before dollars. was a group one winner at that stage. I yeah. think this this year, you even look at, uh, I'll bring it up now, what's, what's the strip at? Uh, what race is it, by the way? Race five. Race five. Yeah. So Nature Strip is... A lazy 121 Raider. Yeah. Um, and you've got one of the bolters here, Standing Bear, you know, good on him for having a crack, yeah. who's a 61 Raider. Yeah. So, so it's just... Nature Strip is at double the rating points. If this was a handicap, Nature Strip would be carrying 100. Yeah. This thing would be carrying 55. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a different feel to what we probably yeah. had the last couple with, yeah. with the strip. So dollar fifty five mugs, you know what we'll be doing. <laughs> All right. It's a scary thought, yeah, anyway. Well, that's the news to the minute, mate. We'll move on, because we had some winners last week. We're up and about. Lloydie held his own, so good on you, Lloydie. Next week, we'll get the, the dream team back together. Yep. But race one at the farm. So we're kicking off nice and early, mate, 11.48 for those Ooh. playing along the East Coast. Jeez. Uh, and we're going to kick things off with a class three at the set weights. So this is new, because I think we've had handicap racing every single week for the last six years. Yep. Um, 1800 meters as Watt, which yeah. is a nice little bean picked this horse out through the midweeks, I believe. Um, yeah, midweeks, and then I got in, and then I jagged, finally, she finally, finally got the win on the Sunny Coast Sunday. Yeah, that's so. right, that's what it was. Mm. So, uh, well, it's coming to the prime time now, uh, and you're getting $2.80 there for as Watt. It's a pretty decent field in terms of competitiveness. Yeah. Uh, and horses look, the form obviously is all different, but. Few of them are in winning form. Few of them been in harder grade. Coming back to the set weights might be a, a plus. Uh, as what probably goes forward. Is it as simple as that, mate? Yeah, I, th I think it is from Barrick yeah. 2, to be honest with okay. you, mate. Um, I'm happy. Out to the 1800, I think it won over the mile last start, so I've got no issues. It was sort of had to round them up anyway last start, and I was like, get, come on, kill me, get, get going on it. Get going. <laughs> but anyway, she um, she did the job. She sticks again here, gets the claim. Um, it was moving away from them late. Um, big sunny coast straight, same here, Eagle Farm. Rails in the true this week, so I think yeah. you're gonna probably want to be thereabouts. Mm. I don't think I'm not sure you're gonna want to be coming three and four wide around the well, corner, but who knows? We'll, we'll cut this out Monday if uh, yeah. we know uh, what happens. Yeah, so I think um, yeah, I'm I'm happy to be with again. I'm getting about three dollars two eighty thereabouts. So yeah, I'm with as what. 
It's with the Aswats. Yeah. Um, I'm looking a bit rougher, mate. And Oof. that's all you can do at Eagle Farm. The rougher, the better, generally mate, not, speaking. Not, not launching, the, not launching the fame in the first again. No, no, I thought I'd mix... Big things up, mate. I'm sick of picking winners in in the first for the mugs. I've they just they just hound me, mate. That I just back the favourite. So I'm trying to do a little bit of form. Yep. Uh, Zawadi goes on top for me. Thirteen bucks from the good friends there at Sportsbet. Um, yep. bit of an each way play. Look, it's it's a bit of a non winner as we alluded to with this race yep. in general. But last uh, 2200 meters mm. comes back here, which I don't know could be a concern. It just could be fitter than the rest, so it wouldn't yep. matter. But you've got top order Luna Snit. Um, which is that London banker form that we sort of identified hit yep. like a madman last week. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, it's winning form, it's form lines, it's a go forward run on pace. Yeah, I think you well. want to be there so, early in the day anyway. Well, that's the thing. You're gonna, <laughs> no, no, you're gonna, no, unless it leads and they all run straight exactly. past. Well, it race one, you'll learn if you're a leader more, more that you're tips. on the money leading. If not, you go, well, I'll throw out every single leader for the rest of the card. So, yep. hopefully, I can get a. Uh, Good little looking at least at the 200 that this thing's looking like oh, some chance. kind of a winner yeah um well it brings us to race two so that's how i'm seeing it for race one leaders win yep. we've got fincio which spoiler alert i'm pretty keen on as well yeah but you know this thing's going to be running absolutely home with a, a wet sail so yep. four dollars 40 to find out and what's a pretty competitive field? yeah this is super competitive i mean it's a, it's a really handy little race over the mile um sergeant silver done nothing wrong leah yeah. killer Kilner on board, mate. Informed uh, jockey at the moment. Yep. The other Heathcote runner there, Rothsay, Duchess, um, and Secret Tales. Secret Tales was pretty impressive. It sort of started. It was coming on late there last. Well, time. I thought it ran okay to be fair, but that was it was about twenties or something. I think I tipped it that day. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're backing up a week later as yeah, well. Yeah, there you which, go. That's a bit of a tick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and you and you get in six fifty. Um, yep. I know. Even a couple of weeks ago, with uh, the mugs breaking ground interviews. Well, he said that uh, the Hoisted Yard said this thing up to the mile is probably where we're aiming this prep. Um, and what do you know? We get here at the mile. Yeah, it's mm. Uh, mm. there's a cup. There's a couple here that I almost I almost want to have like you know the three bet. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, the three bet play to be you honest. Can't get it wrong that way. But I've um you can I did yesterday oh. stand down. I had three oh. bets on the race and not one of them around the place. But um. Finsky L for me, mate. I just think um, here, it's it's just got the form. It comes through the Alpine Edge race. It was off them, yeah. but, you know, it's... It's, it's on the up, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it was a pretty smart second to release the beans last start, and release the beans is flying well, It'd be favourite in this yeah, field as easily. well. Yeah, easily, yeah. Um, jumps up in the weights, burns sticks. It's handled the track before. Um, I think the miles are tick, and, yeah, 460, 440, uh, 420 now I'm seeing. I think it's... I mean, it's probably fair in what's an open field, but I'm happy to be with me. Yeah, Tom. That's some good vibes, mate. Yep. Oh, I'll tell you what. Some race two yep. energies. Yep. That's what we needed, I was, mate. I was excited to see uh, my black book tick over and it to come up, so that was good times. Yeah. Well, that's it. It is a mug book, so yep. if those loyal fan one of them of the show, yep. they'll, uh, they'll the get that notification <laughs> that pops up, and that's Lloydie, that fan as well. Yep. That's why we love him. Uh, look, race three, mate. So... The market had it in two last time, and it yeah. was spot on with the late money. Mm-hmm. That was all the weight of my money here. Yep. But bar none goes in your two dollar fifty favorite. At a lace is your yeah. two dollar seventy second elect. Elect, um, bit of a write your ticket for the rest of them. Yeah. Two horse war and mugs. We knew this would be a little bit of a split. I guess the the vote, so to speak, amongst yep. the three of us. So yeah, exactly. we called in the pro. I mean, just because he's not here, he's sniffing around. He loves his little interview spot Dude. because he's absolutely <laughs> on fire with him. Yep. But 16. Lloydie had a bit of a chat with Two Plus. Uh, for those that don't know, Two Plus C, Two Plus, pretty two. clever. Yep. I hope he gave himself that nickname. I'd claim that one. Yep. Uh, but he had a bit of a chat about his chances on Adelaide or we'll find out how do you properly pronounce it anyway. Have a listen. I made three, yeah. three rides on Saturday, um, Adelaide's probably the, the best of them for Barry Baldwin in the third. He only just got run down last start by Bar None, who he, he meets again a, a kilo worse now that uh, they've put KWT yeah. on, but yeah. uh, confidence levels yeah. there? Well, he's, he's drawn well again to get the softest trip, isn't he? So, um, he's definitely a the one to beat again. In fact, the, one, the, the three at the top are probably with the, with the claims, really. Have yep. all that chances to beat her, but she's look. She's in good form. She galloped again this morning. She felt great on Tuesday. Um, it's just one of those races again where she may 
she may probably end up in front, you know, which doesn't really suit, but hopefully not. Hopefully there's a bit more speed in the race where she can actually get to where she was when when she won at Durban, the, 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 last, uh, yeah, the last time she won. So, yeah, I couldn't be happier with her, but um, I just still got to beat those two at the top at the weight. That's it. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. Obviously, you, you probably got left in front last start by a... You know, natural circumstances. I guess there was no other yeah. speed in the race, and barrier four. At least that gives you a few options there. That's right. And it's a big long straight uh, down the back from the mile. Um, the thing with her is she's just so explosive out of the gates that it doesn't really leave you too many options when she does begin, like she did last time. But look, she's she's in great bit of form. She's really well and should be very competitive. Does she she handles Eagle Farm all right, mate? She's had three goes there yeah. for the two seconds, but that that yeah, won't be a worry those, again. No, nah, she's one of those really hardy mares. But she's, the more races she has, the tougher she gets. I mean, that track can undo any horse at the moment, but she seems to be pretty pretty good after her last run there, and and she actually improved from her uh, when she ran second this time in at Eagle Farm to Friedman horse. Um, she actually improved from that that track, so. Attractive. Yeah. Now you ride Zawadi in the open, and Mark he uh, stays at the eighteen hundred meters after a good third last start behind Top Order and Luna Stitt. Those two sort of got away a little bit at the end, but um, or sorry, yeah. he drops back in trip. Sorry, I should say from the twenty two to the eighteen. Will that um that drop back in trip suit? Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. He um he raced really good over eighteen uh, two starts before that at Eagle Farm. So yeah, yeah, you know, Great trainer, um, written a lot of winners for him in New Zealand, and he no doubt would have freshened him up to come back a distance. Um, but the horse is going going well enough. He's definitely had every chance to actually win a race this time in, but hasn't really been able to. But uh, it, you know, it's, as I said, he's knocking on the door, so um, it wouldn't surprise me if he was very competitive again. Man, and the other one you ride on Saturday is Puckish for Michael Nolan. He's a, a trainer in form at the moment. He ran second yeah. last start, Eagle Farm, drops back to the 2,200. Uh, talk us through that one, hey? Yeah, look, I, ideally I would have liked a better draw because it actually beat me last time having to go back. Yep. Um, had to get back a little bit too far off a slow pace, so his run was actually better than than it, it, uh, it looks. So... Um, yeah, hopefully we don't have to go back too far this time. But he's in he's in really good form and, and ran really good. So um, Michael doesn't normally run them unless they they're going well. So yep. I presume the horse is in in good order. That's it. He seemed that. a he seemed a pretty nice um, nice stayer in the making. A couple of starts early on in the um, campaign there at Kilcoy, and then. That, that run, it was um, quite impressive, really. It was, you know, the race probably wasn't run to suit. Two smoking barrels got away on the turn, and he made up some yeah. nice ground, so he'll um, have to be yeah, one to follow again. Yeah, very really tall, lanky sort of horse. I, I guess that's why he's taken quite a bit of time to sort of come right, um, and that's the first time I rode him, but I, I thought that he was pro- possibly a year away from his best. Yeah, rightio, so he's still got a bit to, bit to learn, a bit to develop. Yeah, I think so. No, um, I was quite impressed with this with this his, uh, his run last time, especially how the race was actually run. Um, yep. Yeah, he had fifty four on his back that day, but now I, I still think that he's going to be more than competitive. So actually, even though when he had the plus few rides, I think they're all going to be very competitive. That's it, Mark. Well, they um, they all look pretty well placed on Saturday, so hopefully um, yeah. you've got a couple of winners there for you. Yeah, it'd be great. So, hi, after hearing the riveting Angel-esque voice of uh, our own Mug Lloydy there, yep. what team are you in this week? Uh, I am on Adelie's, actually. I think um, I think the key here is picking up the weight, so on Barnan. I think there was only, you know, it was, what, it was 0.7 in the length or something like that yeah. of Barnan last start. Um, gets the key weight swing, draws in four, small field, likes to go forward. What I will say about this race, six horses. Oh, for a, for a mile race on a Saturday. Yep. That is disgraceful. BM80. It's like, what's going on? That's the... Uh, and there's a couple of these throughout the day. This is the start of a run of two or three where there's... You're lucky to get six runners. Yep. I'm thinking just, it's... It's, it's got to be the, the the eagle fint in the room. Yeah. It's the eagle farm, mate. I mean, some... It has to be, though. Like, well, right? much... Like, if, if they can't, like, six runners on a Saturday, that would never happen in Victoria or no, Sydney ever. Well, 
brings me to my point. A, uh, a big fan of the show, and I know I know you don't get on Twitter too much because you can't control yourself. On yeah, <laughs> oh, mate, but, that would uh, be terrible if I was on that much. Uh, Gibbo, who's a respected Queensland form analyst yep. in his own right, put, said the same thing. He goes, I think there was 90 nominations for the card. Whereas in, in Melbourne, you've got 200 plus, yes. and horses aren't getting to the races because There's too many the fields options. are too big. Yeah, it's, um, it's horrendous. Then you, well, then you have the carryover, which, you know, they go bush or they go Sunday racing and just enhances the whole experience. Yeah, It, it seems yeah. like everybody knows yeah. what the problem <laughs> is, but the guys that are at the top yeah, that make these decisions, need to, I think, fix um, the bloody thing. Yeah, it needs yeah. To, it, they need to start again, unfortunately. Which but is, this would be... I mean, and they're, they're, they're hoping after Winter Carnival, plan of attacks going in. But that's nine months away. Yeah. Why not start now? Yeah. <laughs> Get yeah, it done now yeah, and make sure you've got the the best Winter Carnival, yeah. you know, in 2023. Yeah. Because it looks like you might miss one regardless. Yeah, it's you are yeah. going to have to miss one. But, um, yeah, it's it's pretty disappointing. Anyway. Anyway. At least for me. Bar none for me. Can't well, jump off it. Yep, fair enough. Could be a nice little side bet wager yeah. there. Uh, we'll see what the big man tips after he's spruiked there. Yep. Uh, well, look, mate, we're going to the weekly, annual, monumentous, <laughs> historical, groundbreaking race that everyone's looking forward yep. to. It's the BM78 over the 2200. <laughs> uh, and favorites. Well, we do have one of the favourites in here, Top Order, who saluted last week and gets out to that bit of a trip now. So any Mug fans out there might be familiar with Unfortunately, though, mate, we don't have a representative from the Chris Wallace stable. Yeah. Because I guess he's chasing them down south. But yep. what we do have is Navy Cross here for the Bot Waterhouse yeah, interesting. team. Um, and they've come for it. It's yeah, been hammered in. Yeah, um, I guess you know what you're going to get. You're going to yeah. get a front runner who's tough as nails. Rail and the true. Is that how it sets up? Uh, it's gonna be hard to it's hard to go against. I actually um last start I was on this horse. Um, it ran in behind I believe it was two smoke and barrels. And that was when two smoke smoke and barrels dictated. But I'm on the outside of the field and puckish. For oh. the Nolan Yard mate at twenty ones and four sixty well, if you don't mind. So thanks you know, to our uh, man two plus who you just yeah, heard from. I think um it, it's back from the twenty four hundred. I'd prefer it probably to stick at that trip personally because of the way it was running on well late. Um the long straight's a big tick. I think the tempo potentially is a bit of a problem if Navy Cross gets away. It's one of those ones again if it's not pestered, well, game over. But yep. you've got honourable spirit, should go forward as well. And I think if Puckish can be close enough and 2-plus can have him right on the tail, it's got the turn of foot to surprise a few of these at some odds. So I'm happy to be with again. I can't knock the run last start, and I think um, $21, 460 is a spoil. Yeah, mate, well, I'm looking I'm looking outside the favourite too. I've got to stick with the big boy on top top order. Yeah. I mean, the notes... I think when they run like that, you just have to go... Well, you've got to. I mean, the concern was last time was the Eagle Farm factor. Um, but he came out and he's obviously won an eagle farm out, handled it, <laughs> did it comfortably. Yeah. And that form, you know, London Banker last week just keeps stacking up. So yeah. uh, sticking with $10, I can't believe it. Yeah, I, yeah that's, I saw that and was like, I was, I was like, Mean Laws will be all over that Thank one. Thank you. I better uh, talk about it and get on it now. Yeah, that's right. Have a bet. I'm seeing that line come in on the old tr- bet tracker. It get could, the flames up it, on the sports better. It, it could drift, though, to be honest, like on the day, because yeah. they'll just come for the bot. Well, I don't yeah. know, like, yeah. Especially if, well, half if, stake now, half after, stake later, and see how you go. Well, after race, what's that, race four? So after race three, if yeah. you've seen, well, three leaders have pretty much just done the job. Yeah. You know where the money's going to be going yeah. race four, don't you? <laughs> no, they're going to be truck loading you. <laughs> well, and then if that is the case, mate, we can go to race five oh, and just yeah. do the same. And absolutely, this is going to be a launch job, I reckon. This is dead set. Leap part well again it looks to be a battle in two. So there's a few few races like this where it's the obvious two. You got two dollars fifty La Palmier yep. Juicy Bell. Yes. Um both at the thousand meters, both at two dollars fifty. La Palmier leads for fun. Juicy Bell. Well we'll have to get Mark Curry on the line to know to pronounce that name as well. Yeah. Sits in the box seat round the turn. Who sprints home better? Mate, G Sweet Bell. You, you can't possibly go against on its last run. It absolutely belted the last start. Yeah. It's never missed a place this track and only once this trip. Um, shooting for gold, and then it's got Triple A's form, which I know you and Lloyd, you were 
you weren't too happy with the form, but well, stacked up on the weekend at Kembla, ran, a pretty, face, ran a pretty good second, um, didn't, didn't get the job done, but was close. Um, Smallfield, inside North Fitness, tip, yeah, it wins again, I think. Yep. Um, no, I'm going the opposite camp, mate. Oh. Mr. TJ. <laughs> and again, yeah. six horses. Yeah, it's, it's six horses in a thousand meter class six. Like, yeah, that's why I think you just have to be scratches. on those those two because they're just well, gonna, it'll, it's going to be the battle again. I just it? think it's going to be yeah. KWT with no weight, you know, just leads. Nothing's going to take it on. Uh, there's well, that's the thing. There's no reason for GC Bull to pressure it up front because <laughs> yeah. that's not its racing yeah, it's, pattern either. Yeah, it's going to so it's, it's going to want to take some sort of a sit. It'll just be one pair back though. Yeah, it's not going to be. But if it gets back. gets it too easy you know, up front, that's it. We're just hoping that, that track gives us something to cheer home. Yeah, that's right. Sounds like we uh, we'll talk about it. We'll actually do this. A couple of Quinellas. Yeah. We need a little cash <laughs> fund going. We'll, we'll, ten bucks on the Quinella fund for the yeah, race, mate. We'll build a few we'll, of these we'll up. Come up out with ten bucks. Yep. Uh, alrighty, race six. While well, speaking of the big man, the other sponsor of the show. Again, we're not getting much prices here, mate. No, but you've got you're getting you getting zero two dollars fifty for Royal Hale, um, yeah. who's a bit of an Eagle Farm horse. We know the TJ himself, he's not the biggest fan of the track, but when you've got horses that perform there, how can you not run them there? You just have to take them. Genzai the Wolf, mate. I'm surprised that Genzai isn't the favourite. To be completely mate, honest, I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mate. Um, this is I mean, be, you just look at the form, is, and again, yeah. we talk about it. But yes. David Murphy, I'm sure he's a lovely bloke. But if it was David Golan, you're probably getting two bucks yes, for uh, for Genzai the Wolf. And yeah. uh, at the 450, looks a great play. Torikiki Lads first up, didn't really trial that well. We had a bit of a trial review that we sent out during the week. That's but what it, I hate that mm, horse. It's one of it my is. least favourite horses, to be honest. I well, just, it's just impossible to catch. I just Well, let me just reconfirm what you're saying there, mate. Well. Zip from six first up. Yeah. One from five, well, and that one was a third, a second up. So this is yeah. a horse needs, that needs, need, needs racing. Yeah. Yeah. Needs yeah. racing. So we're all Torikiki Kiki lad fans here. Just stay strong together. <laughs> we're going to stay strong <laughs> together. you got to wait till it runs poorly the first four runs and then drifts yep. to 40s and then it lobs. I might cut you off there, mate, because we've got Beans getting the sea coming up. Yeah. You might be stealing your scripts for this week's yeah, entrance. Stop, but... Yeah. Uh, is it the wolf? Is it redemption time for you? Oh, yeah, I'm back on the wolf, mate. I um, I was pretty impressed last start. Went down to Dusty Tycoon, obviously. It's the case of these horses just getting... Yeah. They're getting away from me. Like, I'm not getting any pressure. I think if there's pressure in that race, Gens like the wolf wins. Yeah. Comes out, starts fave here. It's got the shooting for gold form again. Um, Junction, Piracy, and Super Bowl Sunday, I think, should set this up pretty nicely. I think they'll sort of lead off in front. And, I mean, we're not getting the $10, but I think 460 against... This field should be favourite. Happy to be on. Yeah, I tend to agree with you this week, mate. I'm jumping yeah. on board the wolf train. Um, apprentice on board, but every horse with a chance has an apprentice on board, so we can't even really stick to the rules this week. Yep. Yeah, that form just stands out. Shooting for gold. I yep. mean, they're they're talking some pretty big plans with that horse. And yeah, if you're running second to it, then you. you well, okay, that's right. I mean, Royal Hull was good last start, but. Pepe Le Fuse probably been there, done that as a horse. Yeah. Run for glory. We bought a zoo. They're sort of hovering around that. Yeah, they're not. You know, they're, level none of them are the stars. No. I mean, I'm not saying Genzai is a superstar either, but he's just a bit better than this bunch, I think. Yep. Yeah, yeah, spot on, mate. Alrighty, we need to uh, we need to get the ship not back on course, but out to the sea, mate. I'm talking wop wop wop. That's some wet ass. Um, mugs this week. Mate, I've, I've shifted down south because there's 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 one that, there's, a non Queensland entry. This yeah, is history. There's one that ran yesterday that is dead set giving me the shits. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, mate, Hasseltoff. Oh yeah. Have, have you ever had a, Have you ever had a bet on Hasseltoff? Uh, well, after your message yesterday, I did. <laughs> so, mate, I'll, I'll sit in the boat keeping the engine running for you. Mate, it's had third. It's had thirteen runs for two wins and eight seconds. It is a it is a glorified bridesmaid. There was some hype about it for a while oh, too, wasn't there? Mate, it? there was. That is the worst part. I was like, there's nothing there's nothing worse than a horse with hype that is just consistently letting you down. And this horse is that. It ran yesterday, race five at Sandown Mugs. Get on um, racing.com or whatever it is that get you get or I think don't think the tab do the replays, but racing.com get the replay race five. Looms at the 200, peels out. Looks like it's going to be a certainty to win and then gets knocked off in the final 50 like it always does. <laughs> Mate, 13 starts. Prize money at 232000 So don't get me wrong, if you're an owner, you're going to be cashing checks. So it's, yep. not, it's not the worst of the worst. 
But for suck well, you in, for suck you in and just burn your wallet. It's burning a hole in my wallet, and man, I'm done. <laughs> it's in the sea. Average odds are three dollars fifteen. That's the problem. Yeah. So, and like, it might be running second, but you got to have four hundred the place to be to be cashing anything on this. That's rub. true. So, mate, in the sea. I'm done. So that's All the right. first Victorian submission. There but um, the hassle nice. top, mate. It's a ripper name, but it's a shite horse. I was going to say, <laughs> if anything, they could have saved themselves with a Hasselhoff collab at some point. Yeah. But obviously, when you don't have wins no. on the board, it's a bit hard to uh, yeah, you can't. to get something back, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, mate. Yeah. All right. Well, t- take that in. Take yep. that in. Uh, race seven. Now, look. Horse here that probably has been close to getting... In that same elusive ocean, lines up your favourite again, which is not a surprise. Oh, yeah, in this gear, is, this is um, an now look, we we know a few of the the lads that are in the the new ownership group. So best of luck to them. Yep. But you get three dollars sixty for a horse that, uh, well, three from fifteen it seems to run well at Eagle Farm. So that's a bit of a tick in the box. Yeah. Seems to go all right first up as well. It's just whether, as a five-year-old now, is it is it sort of getting to the the point where it should be at its peak, or is it past the peak, and now we're just getting the after product. Undeniable last start winner there, KWT goes on board there as well. Um, and again, a few sort of around-the-mark horses yep. in this field, which does make it tricky. One of those is the big goodbye. Walked across to the Heathcote yard from South Australia, and it's it goes okay. This this bike, it's um it's been well back too. I just noticed. I missed the price there. Saw six fifty overnight. No deductions from the stretchings, and it's four eighty now. So Ooh. they've come for it. Um, last start second, one before that. Um, it's interesting that Heathcote straight over. It's had two runs this prep, so I don't think fitness is going to be a problem as long as it's travelled well. It should be okay. Um, big long orbital straight. It's wound up and has a bit of a explosive finish off it with the strong late sectionals. And I'm um, I'm sort of taking on trust that there's a bit of ability about this bloke and perhaps I don't know whether they think yeah. the racing. I don't think the racing here is um, easier than SA, but the fact that being brought across well, to Heathcote be on the same level. Yeah, at, at least if not if not <laughs> You're lucky. If, if not stronger. So um, stronger over here. I mean, so you know, I think it measures up. Four eighty, happy to be with in a pretty open yeah. race. I thought not a bad find. Yeah. Hey, what do you what do you rate from a uh, horses going the other way for the first time? Yeah, I, I mean, it's a huge query. But you just go like, look, you just got to trust it's the like process. Heathcote, you know, it's not like I'm training the horse. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the, that's the true. bloke has half a clue, right? So, that's right. Yeah, I think I think it's a problem, but I think. If it didn't handle it, like they would have, surely they would have looked at that before bringing it over and going. Oh, like, you yeah, think it's like, like a gallop anyway? Yeah, exactly. So, yep, have to be. I've got to, I got to yeah. admit, I love that in the uh, trainers post review when they they talk about horses getting on the right leg and the left leg, and, and they go, oh, if if you watch, you can see it. Just switch the legs there, and I'm just watching a horse <laughs> going in a straight line, thinking <laughs> it's got four bloody legs. Which one? Which <laughs> right leg are they talking left, about? Left leg, left right leg, right, right leg, leg, back leg. And some cults yeah. have a bloody leg dangling down the middle yeah, that you can't take uh, your eyes off either. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's a bit wild. Benny Mellon mate, in fact, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> man, he's well, he's a cold. He's, he's got, he's got a big leg. Yeah, he can't yeah. get enough of it. Yeah. Uh, undeniable <laughs> for myself. Mm-hmm. Just when he forms the form, this was yeah. a bit of a tricky race. Um, yeah. I think I sort of narrowed it down to that form with Dubai Pride, but I think again at the weights and just the up and about winning form, two attempts at the track for two for a win in the place. So yeah, that's pretty good. That's as good as you get an Eagle Farm. That is cool. Form. That yeah. is form 101, mate, up here. Yep. Which is why we, we move on and race through this card super quick. So it just washes over. And everyone has a great time. Yeah, nice. uh, we've got the youngins for the three-year-old handicap yeah. players, the cutest horses. So I'd imagine there'd be a few cutest horses here. Um, tell you what, Chris Anderson loves picking a race to put all his horses in, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone. He's had a crack here, hasn't he? The Rattlesnake, yep. which was a uh, on debut, was a pretty good win. Cool yep. name as well. What's up there? Yep. Um, Snowdrop. Snowdrop and Rubicutius. Rubicutius. I think it's a pretty good horse, full stop, no matter how you it call is. it. Uh, Rhapsody Rose has always had a little bit of spruik, but you've got one here from Melissa Taylor's yard, the Qs. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they've mate. put some bloody hard pronounced names <laughs> in this race for us. Having that, Mr. Larrabee. Oh, there's no way I've gotten through that 
correctly. So train as if you're listening and we mispronounce your horse. Yeah, give us a Send through like the dictionary how they put in brackets how to pronounce. Yep. The last start was a good winner over the thousand. Uh, the sunny Coast, You'll Be Missed, has some pretty good four minds going through that as well. Yeah. So $2.80, the three-year-old Colt by Super One. In what looks like to be the biggest field of the day, almost. Yeah, this is. I haven't seen it, mate. This is a lottery, honestly. Mm. I mean, we backed um, the Rattlesnake last start, first up at Ipswich, um, got the job done. I, I, it was actually more impressive, I think, on second or third look than I first thought because it was it was sort of hunted up two and three wide, I think, around Ipswich, which is not. I mean, you want to be on pace, but I don't want them hunting it up, really. And um, hunt it up and then just bolt it away in the end. Yeah. Pretty convincingly, to yeah. be honest. I'm just going to stick with it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the dead set outside of the field, like, you know, Monday, Monday, came out cool. one, to be honest. You know, Bob, Bobby Alyssa got the, Alyssa, got the 70 old dollar pop on yesterday, That's the right. cheeky bugger. Unbelievable. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> Hamlet Von Schnitzel. How about that? Oh, mate. Hamlet oh. Von. Hamlet won never again, I think, no, is on how it's going. Yeah. It, it's not far off the sea. But, Recommendations um, for next week's show. Yeah, the, the rattlesnake here, I don't think, um, <laughs> is Brad Stewart... He's not suspended, is he? I didn't think he was, but he's not know. He's not riding this race. So we've got um, we, we get a we get an awful replacement, Taylor Marshall, just jokes. He's flying as well, yeah. so there's no queries there. And um, Ray on the true, draws in two, goes forward. I think it's going to be hard to beat. 650's half a price too, happy to be with. Happy to be with. Get on, get on, get on. Well, it's riding at 54 kilos too, so maybe big Brady Stewart. Oh, has, yeah, has, has a bit too many KFC yeah. Zingerbergers throughout the week to get there. Yep. Uh, man, I've got Ruby Cutuous on top, so I need a problem. I think it's Rubictuous, is it? Yeah, that sounds... Something, does that sound a bit better? That sounds, that sounds more correct <laughs> yeah, than what I was saying, so... Right, we're we're probably both wrong. Could say be somewhere it, in say it again. Rubictuous? So, yeah, all right. So that's what I've got on top, yeah. so just to make it clear. <laughs> And if something else wins, I'll just say that's what I meant to say. Yeah. I've had this, uh, well, I had a black book note next to this uh, this horse here, three-year-old, a trialed super, and I think uh, it's back back in August it was, but that's morning of trials, his was the fastest heat, and there's been a few winners sort of come out of that one that we sort of picked along the way. So right. um, that's what I'm looking for in a race that yeah, it's, got to find it's, it's wide open though, isn't it? Like Absolutely. There's, there's minimal exposed form, so you're really just taking on trust. You think it's come back okay. And I mean, and you, you'll be looking at a horse like Rhapsody Rose. I mean, yeah, what's it in done hindsight, it should be the pick. It's, it's contested listed race. It's won a listed race. Uh, was sixth in a, in a group two, and then it was scratched. No, it kicked up a stink, remember, one day. Oh, yeah. I think it, it might too. have been Magic Millions or the cutest jewel, and then yeah, they, it, it was, still ran, but it was obviously just no good, no good that day. Pre barium. So, Pretty First Barry, up, yeah, big watch as well. So yep. we'll uh, we'll have some fun with race eight, that's for sure. Uh, now look, race nine mugs, we'll get to it in a minute because this is where we usually go bang into our mug of the week. Yep. Um, fortunately, with zip from three, we did make a donation last week to the Jockey's Trust. So well done to the Jockey's Trust. It was close though, wasn't it? Um, it what was. did he have? He had... Uh, oh, it was pipped on the line. Yeah, it was. London, it was the just, London Banker race. Yeah, it was just It was uh, the Jolly yeah. Pride runner there. Solent Agenda. Yeah, was. that's right. Yep. Uh, so, Caden, bad luck, mate. Although, you've uh, you picked some winners throughout the week. So, good on you. Yep. This week, we're going to kick off a new charity. So, we'll put a bit of a vote up. And we're going to actually have a bit of a shout out to all the mugs. Get some voting going up on the old... Instagrams, yep. and we'll make that our this week's mugs of the week. Um, and that's just because we don't really organise too much in this show, <laughs> so we did sort of forget to run a comp on Wednesday that we were meant to do. But no stress. Yep. So speaking of though, mate, I reckon next weekend yep. we've got some big group ones back. So we'll fire up the world famous mugs tipping comp. Oh yeah, we again, could get back get some, again. Uh, some be... good little hopefully. Hopefully I can get, get on the leaderboard. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. And yeah. like, and we always talk about what if we win one of these comps and we get the prize. People will like, you know, cause a riot. But no, they won't. Ne- they've seen how awful we exactly. go. It's never really been into consideration, has <laughs> no, it? So no. we're yeah. running, we're running <laughs> third, last, last, and even if we tried to rig it, we're not smart enough to rig it that we'd win. Nah. We'd rig it and we'd finish second somewhere. Yeah, of course go, we would. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's definitely no rigging going on, that's for damn sure. Well, we'll put the shout out for race nine, because if someone can rig this last one for us, oh, I wouldn't mind it. You got $4 the field. Yeah. Dusty this Tycoon, a... so you know where you're, yeah. you're getting there. But... Start $1.50. Oh, but look, it's racing well. That's the thing. Um, Miami Fly Speed it. 
who's an absolute, well, yeah. you know, send Miami Flights down to a, a New South Wales campaigner would be competitive. So, yeah, so. Dusty Tycoon, you're getting at 56 kilos with Leah Killen on the back. Yeah, Mr. Gollan's got Binko. I mean, the list goes on here. There's a lot of really in-form winning horses to finish this off. It makes our job that much tougher. Mate, I'm on the fish, man. Oh, Bobby, 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 fishing Alyssa. Bobby. Alyssa. Um, I reckon Applewall's half a chance here from Barrier Six. Um, it's. I mean, it's been running for about four hundred years. For the <laughs> Lindsay hat, Lindsay yeah. hat. <laughs> Keeps them up, <laughs> mate. But fit as a fiddle. Um, it was blown away last start by Barney's Lord down the outside. It was just yeah, it ex- just exploded, wasn't it? Like, I mean, it led them around the corner and you were just... I think I was on that day and it was just like... Yeah. I was like, oh, they're going to come. Here it comes. <laughs> and they just started... They, come. they started hunting yep. it down. Um, but I think if it can take a sit just in behind, you know, the, the pretty smart, you know, Dusty Tycoon, which should lead it around the corner... Um, Deep Seaver, who I was on last start, is it out? Yeah, it's out. I was, I was sort of was yeah. half fancying it, but I think um, just leading at Eagle Farm the whole way is going to be hard. Um, Vinco and Avawal, they'll take the sit. Um, booking of a list is a big tick, and I think, um, I think it can get the job done. I want to be just in behind that really hot tempo because if they do tend to kick away, some some of the horses right at the back, you know, those key yeah. back markers, they just get left chomping. The, they're just off the bit, and they've got no chance. So I want to be. Two pairs back. Yeah, well... Eight dollars as well. Like, it's done nothing wrong and I'm getting eight no. bucks again. So I'm like, yep, yep, thank you. Yeah, and look, Barney's Law, I think, was was in the market last week. Yeah. I'm pretty sure as well. Just had a horrid run. Yeah. So the form's stacking up. Samurai I've got on top as well. Yeah. Who I'm thinking is going to be in the same position there as you. Yeah. Um, just comes through probably weaker form lines. But Rocamore stole... A race. Yeah. There's um, been a few robberies of Lady yeah, Eagle Farm. Two starts yeah. back, which Samurai then come out and won, and Vinco knocked off Rocamore their last start, which yeah. was the other going runner. So you're getting, well, they're both up in the market, put it that way. So it's intertwined. Yep. It's a get out stakes that we. Super competitive again. Super competitive. Yep. We've picked two of the top three in the uh, the market almost to not really get <coughs> much value. Yep. But a winner's a winner, mate. Mate, you've got to take it when you we can get it. We've got to take it. Yep. Um, and if this doesn't win, it doesn't matter because our bests are going to lob. Yep. And Bean, kick us off. We've got the banger. We've got the around the grounds, which we've been having some success with. Yep. I mean, last week, oh, I was on Amish Boy. I mean, oh, we haven't even talked hard, about Master Pursuit. You were hard. You were hard. I thought you were home there for oh, a I was nearly and a then, genius. Then, mate. I, Unbelievable. I, I think anyway. I tipped my crusader with the William Reed or something like that. Like, I reckon it's a super horse, eh? Like, well, it's it, going to... It'll, it's give, Everest it'll give the Everest a sure. dead set shake, I reckon. Um, mate, Beans Banger, G. Sweet Bell. I like the hard-to-pronounce okay. names. I just think it um, it takes a sit on the Palmier. It's just going to be way too strong with the fitness on the side. Mate, the best anywhere. We discussed this last night briefly. It's... There's, there's, there's not too many I'm prepared to launch into over okay. the weekend because it's just super competitive. I've gone to the fee and stakes, actually. Godolphin, the Dolphins. We're Ooh. a big fan of Dolphins. I'm on best of days each way. Okay. Loves the mile. Decent run behind Sierra Sioux first up. Handles the Mooney Valley surface. Two placings from two runs. I don't think it'll be any further back than sort of three pairs. You're getting fourteen dollars. Yeah, you got Streets of Avalon, Sovereign Award, Shot of Irish, winding them up up front. And um, I reckon if it can get the gaps late, fourteen dollars is um, crazy overs for best of days. So each way all day, best of days. I think it's the seventh the fee and stakes or something like that. Check your form guides though, mugs. But the yeah. fee and stakes. Group two, and that's um, direct entry into the Cox Plate, of course. Exempt. It is. Ballot exempt. Yep. Uh, race eight, I'll oh, save you there, yep. Yeah, I'll save you there. Yeah. Um, well, mate, while I get stuck into mine, check out, uh, we got Lloydie's tips that he sent through, he's best in around the ground, so I'll get Ben to read them out in a minute, yep. but bar none is Moz's must-have this week. Just that, well, it's the same same race I'm seeing it as it was two, two weeks ago. So I think Adelaide is a good horse. But looks to have to take up the speed again. Bar none, absolutely just canted up and said it. See you later. Their last start. Yep. Around the grounds, mate. I'm going to take you to Royal Randwick. Ooh, a place I've only been once, but yes, I did enjoy my day. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and look, it's not Nature Strip, but get on Nature Strip. Yep. 
We're going to race Multi ten. booster. We're going to race <laughs> 10. So it's the absolute get out stakes here oh, at Ramwick. Oh, so the mugs, wait all day. <laughs> the mugs, you'll be waiting until 5.10. Pikey's about to win race three or four at Belmont or Ascot, wherever they are this week in WA. But this is the one that you're going to look for. There's a horse called a tissue for the Chris Waller <laughs> camp. A tissue. <laughs> Three dollars forty. It's a favourite. It's uh, it's one from one here in Australia after a really good record in New Zealand. Looks to be an absolutely spot on Epsom horse. So I think Mr. Waller's just doing the minimums to sneak this fella into the Epsom lightweight. Get a price now if you can. I should do that. I haven't even had a look at it, Ooh. but a tissue in the last K Mac on board for Waller. Nice. That's, that's a bit what of a I'm push. going for. We've given Lordy a call. He's out there bumming oh, yeah. away. He's um, Lordy's off Navy Cross. He thinks um, Adrian mm. B- Bot Waterhouse can um, get the job done there. Lead kick on the turn and dick him. And then he's off to the. Might have um, been his money that's moved it then. Yeah, he's probably had about four dollars on or something yeah. like that. That's all it takes these days yeah. for these bookies. <laughs> Mate, that's right. And then around the grounds, he's off to the valley like me. We're both hunting the um, we're we're hunting oh, the forty geez. meters straight, and he's on race two. Alcyon, which I think is Godolphin, Godolphin as, well. as well. So we're both on the dolphins. That could be a bit of a yeah. bit of a juicy double play there. Two dolphins in the um two dolphins in the slop at the valley. You boys trying to get a couple of free hats or something. Oh mate, a couple of blue hats wouldn't wouldn't go astray. So yeah, the rain is coming, I think, down south there, so I don't know what they're gonna be running in, but it could be they could be running in the sea come right come Saturday at the valley. Because I think yeah, tomorrow well, is supposed to be written down. Best of days would probably help that. Yep, horse, big tick. Mm, a bit of rain. Yep. Um, I think elephant's in that race too. Yeah, Wasn't elephant is, yep. so, yeah. Uh, Peely horse. Good so, race. Yeah. yeah, we'll look at five in a row. Look at six mm. in a row. Rip a name as well yeah, up there with the rattlesnake. Yep. I think animal names are just the uh, Yeah, they're the, the, future, the talk of the town, aren't they? <laughs> so we might need to, well, next horse we get, mate, just pay the, I think it's a couple of hundred bucks for a name change. Yeah, just right. Just something to do it. Pick out whatever Pull animal's the left. The magpie or something. Yeah, the sloth. It's no good. Uh, May well, it's a it's a cracker. I mean, I'm just having a quick look at race six at Ramwick, which is the Furious, and then you've got we well, got four moves ahead back. Yeah, there's a couple, class. yeah, a couple of crackers I mean, in that going around. Yeah, really good. Interesting to see how she's all class goes because it was the unlucky runner of the Magic Millions. Um, still yeah. finished third, but yeah. that's your your Alpine Edge and Shaquiro form, which is through the roof super, as well. So form, yeah. I think it's a pretty. I mean, it's. It's a hard one to gauge, obviously, but I think that's a pretty good group of two-year-olds and three-year-olds. Yeah. That group. Yeah. Yeah. No, it should be. It's a great day's racing. All the group twos and group threes galore. Feel it. Pretty exciting. Feel it. <laughs> feel it. So that's it, Mugs. Get to your local pub. Yep. Get to your local track. Get amongst it. That's right, it's Mugs. In the air. It's right. spring spring in the in air. It's in the air. <laughs> we'll see you next week with Lloydie. Sign back up because Lloydie has the bungee ropes to hang yeah. out. <laughs> see, see you, Mugs. Mugs.